Hi. So today I have uh, decided to read a few lines from this book that I was reading. And um, let me know if I should do a series of this. Um, I am talking to my uh, loyal audience. Um, I'm not sure. Like I know I keep up uh, changing uh, my interests and I keep changing my hobbies. Like sometimes I play ukulele, sometimes I make art. But honestly, I am just a true creative at heart, and I try to do the best I can. And I just post here because I feel like my work, my work needs to be out there somewhere. And I really appreciate anybody watching. Uh, I'm really grateful for you, you know, for keeping up with uh, my content. And I know I'm not very um, consistent or um, I don't have a niche. But uh, today I was reading this book and I was very inspired. So I would like to share it with you all. And it is called Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Maria Rilke. So, um, this book is basically about, like, uh, it's a conversation between an apprentice and his teacher. And uh, so, this is a compilation of the letters that the teacher has written back to the apprentice. And I'm basically guiding him through his uh, creative process, like the uh, apprentice wants to become a poet, like the teacher. And um, I was reading this book, uh, these, this paragraph that I um, found very creative and very helpful to anybody who is on their creative journey. So I would like to share it with my audience. And I have underlined it and I'm going to read it to you. So it goes something like, these things cannot be measured by time. So Red Cure is talking about uh, the creative work or the work of an artist. And he says, these things cannot be measured by time. A year has no meaning and 10 years are nothing. To be an artist means not to calculate and count. To grow and ripen like a tree which does not hurry the flow of its sap and stands at ease in the spring gales without fearing that no summer may follow. It will come. But it comes only to those who are patient, who are simply there in their vast quiet and tranquility as if eternity lay before them. It is a lesson I learn every day amid hardships I am thankful for. Patience is all. So what uh, I conclude from this paragraph is that uh, you know, Reiner is saying that uh, any creative or any artist has this has to have this baseline or this, uh, you know, prerequisite that you need to be patient, like your work. First of all, to hone a skill, it requires a certain kind of commitment, a certain kind of time, even if it is just living your life creatively or anything, it is a commitment that you make and it requires patience. Nothing is ever achieved in the life of an artist without patience. So that is the bottom line. And I would say it holds true because we have seen it in, let's take the example of Van Gogh. Throughout his life, he suffered with mental illness and his work only got recognition once he was gone. And I wouldn't say we should romanticize that. It is sad, it is really sad, but to be an artist, I think, um, I would say this paragraph wouldn't give an artist any hope that, you know, like, it's not about hope. It's about this commitment, this commitment you make as a creator. It is your duty as an artist to put your work out there, okay? And recognition may come, it may not come. You may hone your art in this lifetime. You may not hone your uh, art in this lifetime. It might be still premature. But it is your duty as an artist to be patient, to keep putting your work out there and to just hang in there, you know, despite everything, despite what anyone tells you or 
um, despite everything, every circumstance that seems to be against you or anything that isn't working out for you, it is your solemn duty as a creative to put your work out there and be patient because it might take decades, but your work might get recognition and it probably will if you are super into it and if you give it your art and um, I don't know, it's just, it's really inspiring, in my opinion. It's something that um, makes me want to put my work out there. So I would encourage you all to put your work out there. Um, I hope this helps someone out there uh, with their creative journey. And uh, I would seriously recommend this book a lot for anybody who is uh, confused or on their um, creative journey and not feeling very hopeful or feeling like, you know, their work doesn't amount to anything in time. Everything you do amounts to something and your art, seriously, it makes art. So keep putting your work out there and um, just keep being proud of your art and put it out there and just be patient. Bye.